Ito lang, ha? Distansya. Is... 74 centimeters. Sa kauna-unahang televised punch test na gagawin kay Manny Pacquiao, gagamitin ang high-speed motion capture technology para malaman kung gaano nga ba kalakas ang suntok ng ating pambansang kamao sa isang ordinaryong araw. Ang lakas ng isang suntok ay ang kombinasyon ng bigat at bilis ng boksingero. Tinimbang si Pacman at sinukat ang distansya ng kanyang suntok. Zero point twelve of a second ang bilis ng kamao ni Pacman. Mas mabilis pa sa point three seconds na pagkurat ng mata. Dahil sa kinetic linking, ang pwersa ng suntok ni Manny ay galing sa kanyang buong katawan. Samahan mo pa ito ng bilis ng kanyang kamao. Ang resulta, 806 pounds of force. Pag ikaw ay nasuntok ni Pacman, para kang tinamaan ng isang shotgun. Bunny Rabbit, the way he hops around in the ring, the way he hops around in the ring, I never seen. I'm not gonna lose to no Bunny Rabbit. Believe that, okay? You know. So, hey man, look. You know, he's not Tupac, but he does a little hip hop. If you feel me, you know. You know, he gonna, he gonna, he ain't Tupac, but he does do a little hip hop. He gonna hip hop, and you don't stop until he gets dropped. You feel me? So. I mean, I love, I love it, man. This is just gonna be a great fight, exciting fight. I'm the youngest. I'm the strongest. I'm the fastest. I'm the hungriest fighter he's ever been in the ring with, man. July 20th, it's the Keith Thurman show. Thank you for coming out. What I can say is, um, most of my opponent, uh, they can easily say something before the fight. Um, I mean, uh, that's usually that what I hear, um, hear from from them, that uh, I'm easy opponent, I'm easy to beat, um, but. The thing is, when we get to the ring, it will change uh, the way it is. I mean, and that's that's the the thing. But really, uh, I'm hoping I choose um, uh, Keith Thurman because he's he's, um, he's an aggressive fighter. Um, he's undefeated, and I believe that we can uh, give a good fight to the fans. Uh, that's my first concern. I want to make the fans happy on uh, on that night and. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a lot of action in the ring, uh, especially uh, he, he said he's young. Uh, did he say he was young in the ring on the July 20th? I mean, I mean uh, I'm a kind of fighter that um, I don't see a lot of uh, trash talk before the fight, but let my, my punches, my fist uh, say anything in, uh, uh, in the ring. And uh, before I end this, uh, of course, uh, we will work hard, we train hard for this fight. Uh, we were not gonna um, uh, take him lightly or underestimate him. He's undefeated, he's uh, a champion. So I think uh, I have to, in fact, um, I'm so uh, thankful of what he said because it gave me more uh, uh, motivation, uh, determination to focus more and to prove that at age of 40, uh, I feel like uh, uh, 29, <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, this is fun, this is fun, I mean, uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I choose Keith Orman because um, I believe that we can bring um, a good fight to the fans, um, we can make more action in the ring, that's what I want because um, I want to prove that at age of 40 I can still uh, uh, fight toe to toe with my opponent. Pacquiao is a little fighter, you know, so it's a big fight against a little guy, you know, I mean, it's a little different, you know, um, you know, the, the, the reach, you know, and, he, and he's a veteran, you know, I've dismantled veterans in the past, I've dismantled veterans throughout my whole career, I believe I would have destroyed Manny Pacquiao five years ago. Uh, when he was with top rank so at the end of the day i've always been ready for this fight i'm a world-class fighter um manny's never fought a fighter like me who has the lateral movement the speed and the power he's fought people you know that have speed he's fought people that have power but not all at one and he's never fought somebody this young this strong this hungry 
and um, I'm coming. I said a uh, lot of my opponents uh, saying a uh, 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 lot of uh, useless, useless words. So before the fight, but when we uh, get into the ring, it will change. Most of my opponent is bigger than me, but I did, I beat them all, so I'm not worried about that. So. <laughs> He didn't beat them all with seven losses, but okay, you know, but, but okay. I want him to uh, to experience um, uh, losing in his record. Oh, you're gonna see! I'm gonna trip him up. His feet are gonna be so he he ain't gonna know what direction to move into. He's gonna be hopping over here, hopping over there, uh, hopping, hopping. You know. At the end of the day, man, um, I know who I am as a fighter. And it will be proven come July. You know, I mean, I know he likes to quote Bible verses, so I'll let you know he's getting crucified. Broner is, um, before the fight, he's, he, he talked too much like that. He, he wants to be Shocking, aggressive right? to fight toe to toe with me. And then when we get to the ring, oh, um, I think the whole round, all four, uh, four corners of the ring, um, um, he ran there. Um, <laughs> But this uh, this opponent is different. Uh, Keith Orman, he want um, he like uh, he, uh, he's aggressive and he throw a lot of punches. And uh, I'm I'm hoping that on July 28 um, he will he will stand on what he says that he will fight toe to toe with me. Uh, yeah, man. man. You see. I'm destroying the legend of Manny Pacquiao. His leg his legacy ends on July 20th. And my legacy begins, you know, he's had a tremendous career. He's an inspiration to many people, not just throughout the Philippines, throughout all of America, young boxers all around the world. Uh, I mean, he's just done so much and we all love him. We respect him and I'm respectfully going to kick the shit out. This, is, this fight is once in a lifetime. It's going to be a uh, best fight of the year. Um, a fight. lot of action in the fight. ring. And um, uh, you hear of my opponent say he want to fight toe-to-toe -to 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 with me, so let's let's get it on on, on July 28th and fight.